Hello, welcome back to another video of Eden Acres. And in today's episode, um, we're gonna be working, renovating the quail pen. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the last video, you should go watch it. But like, as I came home, and what are all the problems and stuff? But um, it's just everything got out of control. But otherwise, uh, the garden that's controllable because uh, we didn't have enough time to work on it. My grandpa did it. Uh, but we got a predator problem now uh so i don't know it's i swear it's like a <laughs> hybrid or something but um so right there there's a little hole right there and uh in there uh there's some feathers over on top of the little dust bath i made for them uh their feed's all gone there's some feathers there and stuff everything was shut up and stuff so i don't know if it's either a raccoon that went through there but there's nothing like really anything on top uh, this hole looks too small for a raccoon, so I don't know. I mean, it could have been a fox, but then also, the only thing I can think of is a mink, because it would fit, into, or a weasel, because I'm pretty sure you need water for minks. But, a weasel came in here and wiped out the whole thing. My dad says it's possible for them to wipe out ten quail. Uh, so that's also why I'm not releasing quail out here anyway. So I'll release them more to my friend's place, uh, because they have... It's pretty good under control for predators and stuff because uh yeah i have a good prairie and um so that's my plan anyways for them but we're going to be taking off this net and putting it on and then we're going to uh i don't know what i want to put on the edge here i think i'll either put some pea gravel but that won't really stop anything i was wanting to dig all the way around and put wire in but i'm not really going to do that so just put different mesh on stuff that i had last year i thought that's what was killing grass but the quail were so got that the other one is either put bricks or i'll find something to put all along here maybe rocks i don't know but hopefully we'll get that all figured out just something to prevent from another t catastrophe um so we'll probably set some trail cameras in at the end of this video too or later today uh and then all these feathers here got those chickens in there uh, so we either something got through there to take out the chicken. It's like a, a weasel. We're thinking it's a weasel. But then also foxes can do weird stuff like they climb through there. But we don't know. It's uh, We think uh, it's either um, raccoon, mink, or weasel, or mink, and a fox. One of the three or maybe one thing did one night and then the next night something else. But all the eggs are gone, the feed is gone, all my quail are gone. I went out in the last video to go look at the garden and I didn't see anything there. Or any quail or heard anything. So I think they're KO'd. But we'll just hopefully find out this predator. And then at the end of June, this is probably when you'll see the video at the end of June anyways. Uh, maybe, or beginning of July. We'll be getting some more quail, Contornix quail. Uh, I didn't really do a whole lot of research on the Bob Whites. Um, I imagine they were wild so they didn't, wouldn't lay 24 7 but the contornix will lay all the time or lay every year all year long I like the bob whites and i'll be able to produce them faster for the program that i'm planning on unlike the bob whites take longer but i have all the chicks that i can keep but they're going bye bye so well what i'll just get into the video here is i zip tied all these down all around here so what i'll probably do is cut them off and so I'll probably just cut them all off and uh, put on a wire mesh on it next time, later. Like, uh, sorry, my dog is barking at another dog, but um, put on a tarp mesh. Like, it'll still keep the reason why I put this on was because of the snow and stuff. But I think this stuff will still be all right as long as we like make sure the holes, the wire holes or whatever that you put, you hold it together, don't stretch and break. So yeah, I'll just get at it and I'll just do a few little things here and there with this. And then I'll probably have to go somewhere else for FFA and then we'll see what we get from there. But all the grass is tall and I just mowed it down. So hopefully it'll grow and be a good, strong green grass. Feature and hopefully we'll get all the predators or whatever is lurking around here figured out i'll be able to take care of it and control it and uh so yeah we got permission so hopefully we'll 
be on a good roll and hopefully no more casualties but i don't know what's happening but we'll find out on the camera later in this video so i'll get to work and i'll see you guys then All right, so I got it all cleaned up. I'll probably put the tarp on shortly. I'll be cleaning this. I'll get that out, put that back up, get rid of that. This is for the next animal that will be coming in here. I already said in the video. But, uh, yeah, so we'll just let it grow. But we'll, we'll get this on, hopefully tonight, maybe. That's my goal, so I don't, so I can go worry about other stuff. And then we got this project done. Uh, well, I might mow it. And then maybe I'll make the grass stronger. I don't know, but we'll find out. So I'll just get all that cleaned up. Um, well, I'll get my trail camera all set up. I won't turn it on until later tonight. But I'll get it all set up. So then I can uh, see what it is tonight and just turn it on. Just because of the fact that I'm lazy, uh, I just decided to put it right there. Uh, on this, looking over this, because I imagine they're coming from the woods up in here. Or at least I'll get a glimpse because they were digging right there. So at least something had to look there. I've been hearing a quail somewhere over here. But I don't know where it's at. So there is some survivors by the sounds of it. But what I'm thinking about doing is... Well, never mind. Actually, I was going to trim that branch. But it's fine. So I'll turn that on tonight. Uh, so we'll be getting the net on later tonight. I'll go get the net now, but otherwise then I'll just work on my next project with is putting rocks and soil and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm working on that. Alright, welcome back. Uh, it's the next day. It's late in the evening, um, but I'll show you guys in a little bit that I got the tarp on. Well, you might be able to see it in the background, but I'm just grabbing the shovel uh, for the next project. I don't know where this video is going, but just trying to catch the imposter the animal i'm guessing it's probably raccoon maybe baby raccoons were able to get in there but i got the trail camera rolling it's on it's gonna be a whole bunch of pictures of me but oh well but got the tarp on and stuff uh this stuff will be a lot better too because it's more durable in the winter it won't but i'll have to clean it i probably won't but i'll try to but uh yeah so that's kind of it for there. So my next project, then I'm gonna dig a trench, probably up to in here, cause there's about two, three inches of tin in the ground there. And then I'll probably just do a top layer of rock right there. So I guess I'll just get to work. Um, so yeah, but I got the tarp on. And uh, see what I can get done. Welcome back. It's the next day and it's in the evening again. I was busy all day. Um, just uh, doing stuff. But here are the rocks right here. I'm liking how it is. Nothing disturbed. Nothing. It looks doesn't. Uh, those holes kind of look like that hole right there. Looks a little weird. Uh, nothing over here. Just the feathers look moved. And with that being said, I have the trail camera right there. Um, so I'll pop in the footage right now um, of the raccoon and or the raccoon and the possum. Uh, I named them Tom and Jerry. Uh, and we gotta get rid of both of them because Jerry will get all the eggs and Tom will dispatch all the chickens. And um, I'm not 100% sure how they got under there, but I imagine they were able to, or I imagine the raccoon obviously not the possum 
was able to go out top or in between the cracks on top but that's filled up now but then the raccoon was probably able to go up and through on top of there and down and those chickens are just sitting right there and they're able to grab the heads and get a meal so and probably just take out the whole bird which is kind of cruel but that's what happened so um i got the trail camera on oh there's a rabbit right there hey little rabbit but anyways i'll set the trail camera to video because i pulled my other trail camera out there and the video is pretty cool so i'll switch that but what i'm gonna do is set a trap about right probably right here well maybe a little bit farther out because we don't want him to be grabbing anything because then otherwise he'll pull himself out and i've caught a possum on a a uh, dog proof trap so i mean if we catch him we catch him but he's he's not the biggest threat the only threat is the eggs and i'm not selling any eggs so that's well, all right so i still have to go dig out some traps too from this fall i haven't got them like they're unset they're set or they're not they're not set or they're not sprung or whatever they're sprung so uh we don't really have to worry about that much. So I'm just looking for the steak and a uh, hammer. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, uh, we're just gonna go right here because then he won't grab anything. And the trail camera had him right there. So, yeah. And I imagine he'll still smell the food, so. Let me go get the bait real quick. Hopefully Maya won't get into this, but. This ground is hard. So this is just dog food and then uh, I think some salmon oil, something like that. It's okay if I drop it, so then he can get a taste out of it real quick. Overflow that. We get it set. I made a mistake. I filled it up a little too much. Cause now the, like the doggy kibble is in the way. But We want it, we want it face this way, so. Because then when he reaches in like at an angle or whatever, uh, this will lift up on his paw, because since his paw has more of like a, a concave or whatever, so then he'll get caught on that. So I got a little, kibble around or dog food around there we'll get all of our stuff out of the way and we're all set for the raccoon tonight and hopefully we'll get them i'll put the trail camera on video so we can get it on action all right so well change of plans gotta make sure all the birds are all right um so i'll take this cardboard now that it's gonna do anything because the coon will move it anyways but block that Even though he'll be able to move it, I know. Maybe he'll be underestimated. 
Uh, but yeah, we got that all done in this video. Um, I can still like, still uh, call to a quail out there. So there's a quail or two still out there. Um, still alive after a week. Uh, I want to say quite a week, but a week. And got to make sure all these guys are shut up. The bands, the bantam that I moved in here, or moved up at the barn, moved back down. And uh, so, yeah. But everything's shut up, locked up. Uh, hopefully, we don't have no casualties tonight. We didn't have none last night, just got the picture. So, now we got video. Hopefully, we'll catch him tonight, maybe. And Maya doesn't have to keep watching. She's just a country girl for 10 minutes and comes home and sleeps for three hours and goes back out for 10 minutes as a country girl and comes back in as a city girl. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so we got that all set up. Um, hopefully we'll catch them. And then um, tomorrow in this video probably, I'll go up to the barn and grab some barn wood. And right here, we're gonna be making my chicken tractor. That'll be in another video. So the videos up ahead will probably be a tractor video, maybe, hopefully. Uh, moving some chickens. I know that's, I just keep moving them, but just cause they need more space. Uh, the chicken tractor will provide that. And if we get meat birds, that will also give us a place to put some meat birds cause We'll save a lot of money on shavings because we had to clean out the meat bird pan like every other day and that used a lot of shavings which cost a lot of money but this the grass would be shavings that they'll be grass fed slash grain fed i don't really know but anyways that's how that will work out um and they'll get a lot of bugs and stuff like that so yeah that um gotta get some pig stuff ready chicken stuff do i know what maya's barking at no oh Crap. I don't know if you guys see that tree moving, but there's something over there. Do I know what it is? No. But I saw something over there. I don't know if it was a squirrel, chipmunk, or maybe a little raccoon. But we found the imposter, and uh, hopefully we'll get that all resolved. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning. But All right, welcome back. It is the next day in the morning. And um, so I already came out here this morning and Maya got all fired up. So you know what that means, we caught something. But, um, uh, so yeah, I don't know what to, else to say. But we got the imposter. Um, I'll have it all on camera, but here's the fella, or here's the girl. Uh, she must've had a litter because her tits are like full, I guess, or whatever. But I know some of you guys might hate it if someone actually watches my videos, but um, we have to dispatch her because otherwise she's just gonna keep haunting the chickens and everything else and then the whole family. Uh, but we have to take care of her because of that. And she ate about $200 worth of quail, like going through feed, buying them, and selling them. If I sold them at 10 bucks a piece, that would be 120 bucks and 50 and $20 bag. And yeah, it just adds up. And But I guess you can't really do much, so they ate a lot of stuff. And then, yes, I know I accidentally let some quail go on accident, but I was able to catch those back. I can't really revive dead quail that are in the stomach, so... Yeah, but I'll take care of her. We'll relocate her to a better place. But um, uh, yeah, so I'll do that and I'll get on to chores and um, I'll still set the trap and stuff. And then um, I'll show you guys the video of the trail camera right now. 
And, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys doing chores after the raccoon stuff. So I don't know if you guys watched from last night, but I don't know if the chickens knocked that down or the wind or the raccoon, but anyways, that just got knocked down. But, so, my guess is the raccoon was able to get all the quail and stuff, but no. Gosh, Maya. Maya scared me. Um, but... Hopefully we won't have it no more. I'll keep the trap all set up and stuff, but I can let the chickens out, but I want to keep them in here for today anyways, because, uh, yeah. Maya. But, leave them in, because, uh, in the video, in the next video or two, I'm going to, Maya, calm down. I'm going to be working on chickens with the chicks and stuff. So, I'm not going to be doing chores yet. I know, in the next video, I know there's going to be a lot of feeding and watering to do because I'm behind right now. It's 10 o'clock. I was supposed to feed pigs two hours ago. But, as you saw last night, uh, all of my data storage or whatever, I used all that up. So, um, I had to download all that down this morning so I could film this. But, um, yeah. So, my guess is the raccoon ate everything. The possum might have gotten the eggs, but yeah, I'll keep that all set up there. And um, I'm gonna go do chores. Or I'm going to do chores right now. Here's attempt to uh, day two at trying to catch the one and only northern bob white quail that is out here surviving day five or four. And this is day two, attempt to trying to tag, uh, catch him, but he's over here, so, um, I'll let you know if I catch him. He's right there. Don't know how much you guys are able to see that, but, I missed him. Will I catch him? Most likely not, but, do I have chances? Yes. Oh, he's right there, right there, right there. Why didn't you fly? In order to get away from predators, you're supposed to fly, and you didn't fly. Hobby, darn, I caught him, guys. <laughs> Five years later. It's okay, buddy. Um, I improved your home by a lot, and, um, you don't have any friends to hang out with, but that's okay. You're gonna get eaten anyways, but you'll be the only lucky quail I have. You'll go with my uh, contouring quail I'll be getting. I'll be getting those in probably a month, so that's when you'll see it. But you're home. <laughs> Emotional. Anyways, just kidding. But um, I got them back. How? I do not know. Sorry. But um. I'm losing the net right now, but I am uh, winning, lose slash losing the war. I lost all my, I lost all my birds, but I'm getting redemption on the predators. I got two raccoons so far. <sighs> See if we can't call any more, but I think this is our lucky one. Um, I know there's just a quail, and nobody watches my videos. Maybe three views, nobody comments, but. Drop down a comment for this lucky guy. It's a male. Bob White. His name's Lucky for the moment. But, uh, drop down comments. So probably the second comment I'll get on a video. But, um, yeah. Um, I'm... I am very lucky to get this quail back. 
Um, I feel like I'm a lucky person. From getting out of tangles from fishing, um, going sliding through things quickly, or going past things smoothly, and catching my coil. But um, yeah, that is uh, that. So I'll go down to the house, and uh, I'm already halfway there. But I'll see you guys down by the quail pen. I gave him the rundown of everything I did, like the rocks, the soil, and stuff, uh, just because um, I don't know if he trusts me. I'm just kidding, guys. It's just a quail. But anyways. So I'll let him go to his new, hopefully forever home. But uh, name him for me. Name him. Woo! Name him for me. Okay, anyways. Quit making fun of the quail, you go home. Okay. Now, you open the door. Ow, bugs. Alright, no more predators in here. Alright. Uh, okay. Um, bye. Okay. Alright, let me clean out his water for him. There's a lot of food in there. And his food bowl. So we'll get all that situated. Rain will still come through here, but not as heavy rain if we get a heavy rain. But uh, hopefully uh, my quail will survive in there. But uh, yeah. So that's kind of it for now. And um, so tomorrow we'll do an update on everything again. And then we'll be going back to school to go grab something up real quick. And she'll be back on the homestead or the farm, hobby farm, homestead, whatever you guys want to call it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.